This is my dulcitar under construction. A starting life as a cheap youth guitar. Ultimately it's going to be a dulcitar, a stick dulcimer, a strum stick, a strumming stick, a three string guitar, a cigar box guitar, all much the same thing. A dulcimer, standard dulcimer tuning is D-A-D. D-A-D. Well we can do that pretty much with a standard guitar without changing or replacing any of the strings. Here's a low D, we can leave that string alone. Here's a low A, we can leave that string alone. This E can be tuned one step down to a D. The G string you can't do much with. If you tune it up to an A or a D, you're going to snap it. If you do it down to an A or a D, it's going to be way too loose. So the G string goes. Take the G string off the guitar completely. This B can be tuned down to an A very easily. This E can be dropped one note to a D. All, all we've really done is taken one string off and tuned three down one note. Living out those D A D. AD. That's dulcimer tuning. You could stop right there and have a five string dulcimer tuned instrument. It would sound very beautiful. I've done this. But we have a few options here. The first is leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Leave it as a five string dulcimer tuned guitar. Or you could remove these top two strings and just play with these three. You'll have a bass dulcimer. Or you could do what I did. See, I wanted a three-string instrument as close to a dulcimer sound as possible. Three-string guitars are super easy to play. I'll show you just a little later in the video. So what I did is I just took these strings off. Just took them off the guitar. And so I have one, two, three strings removed and three strings tuned down one whole step. Then, now I'll bring up the video. Then, <clears throat> I took off three of the tuners and redistributed, redistributed the strings. So I have string, empty space, string, empty space, string, empty space. String, empty space, string, empty space, string. The three strings are now far apart. Easy to get at, much easier than when I had six strings all together. Down here, I did the same thing. I just separated the string, string, empty space, string, empty space, string. And it's tuned DAD. -D. One more step. Right now the instrument is has chromatic frets, which means all the sharps, all the flats. With such an arrangement you can play every song ever written, but you can also hit a whole lot of wrong notes. Your standard dulcimer only has the diatonic frets, do, re, mi scale. Only those frets. As you can see, I, I marked them with a magic marker. Ultimately, I think, I think I may pull off the extra frets and redo the fretboard, or I might just paint the whole thing black and leave the diatonic frets brass with the with the sharps and flat frets black. I'm not sure yet, but for the moment now I just mark them. See little marks there? Those are the diatonic notes. Now why go all the, all the trouble? Why take the strings off? Because in this configuration, in dulcimer configuration, diatonic dulcimer configuration, this instrument is much, much easier to play. Let's take chords for example. Here are, here's how you make a chord. One finger. You don't have to you don't have to do the multiple shapes. One finger. One finger chords. Or you can leave or you could uh, two fingers, just the outer strings. Leaving the middle.
middle string ringing on every note. Or you could just fret the two, leave the bass string ringing. Oop, that's not a diatonic fret. See how easy it is? There are proper chord shapes. There is a proper D chord, there is a proper G chord, etc. But the one finger chords work just fine. But that's not how you play a dulcimer. Let me brace. This is how you play a dulcimer. say I was good yet, but that's a dulcitar. Super easy to play. One finger chords.